In today's video, I'll show you how to set up a custom news feed using Benzinga Pro. I've developed a way to find news fast and I would like to share this with you. If you find any value in today's video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. So anyone who's used Benzinga Pro knows that they're so great in the fact that you can have multiple news feeds all in the same workspace, saving you time, which is great to make you a more efficient trader. Another great feature that Benzinga has is the ability to add keywords to your news feed. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna open up a new workspace and I'm gonna click on the news feed either in the center or on the left-hand side. This of course is gonna pull up a list of stocks and I'm gonna narrow down this list. So I'm gonna change the importance to off. Then I'm gonna to go to the screener and I'm going to narrow down our list by the share flow and the price. For my style of trading, I typically trade stocks under 75 million share float. So I'm gonna put that in for the maximum. Next filter I'll set on this is the price, which I typically trade stocks between 75 cents and $20. If you prefer a different price or a different share float size, then you can change these filters here. These are the only two filters I'll have set on this newsfeed, and I'll go ahead and hit done now. Now that we have our filters set, I wanna set our sources. So click the sources on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna check press release, partner links, Benzinga wire, and Benzinga signals. These are the four boxes I have checked on my newsfeed. Now we'll just hit done and we'll have a list of news and news articles to pick from. Now, if you want the colors on your list as well, you can see I have blue on this. Just go to the press release and you can actually slide the color bar on the right hand side to color code each one of these checked off boxes. I look at this feature as a color coding system offered by Benzinga to minimize the noise on our news feed, to really focus on what matters. And I think that's really cool. Now to take this one step further, I'd like to add keywords to my newsfeed to actually narrow and manipulate this list down even more. This feature by Benzinga allows us to type in keywords in the search bar to narrow down our list of stocks that are gonna show us headlines with that specific keyword. This is great because we not only narrowed it down by the share float, also by the price range, but now we can manipulate the data to show us news that we actually care about. You can try experimenting with different keywords such as share buyback, FDA fast track, FDA approval, maybe Benzinga exclusive, so just the keyword exclusive, anything having to do with Walmart or Amazon, or maybe even Tesla. You can add all these keywords at the top of your list. If you guys have some keywords to recommend to me to try using in my newsfeed, go ahead and add them to the comment section below. I find myself adding and subtracting keywords from this list based on market trends. A news article that moves a stock one week may have no impression the following week. For a couple of examples, this past two weeks, anything with a low flow and the keyword monkeypox in the name were a hot topic. Another keyword I add and remove based on market trend would be NFT. These are just a few examples of keywords I've added and subtracted from my own list. All right, now say you already have your news feed planned out and you absolutely love it, but you just wanna experiment with this one, but you don't wanna miss out on any of these news alerts popping up. Well, that's fine. You just go to your workspace, click this desktop notification alert here, and now you'll be notified whenever you get any news on this specific list. So that is basically it. That's the meat and potatoes. That is our news feed, a custom ultimate news feed with keywords, float, uh, filters, you name it. So just to recap, you hit the news tab, go to sources, check these few boxes here, and then we're gonna go over to the screener and we're going to change the screener to price range, 75 cents to $20. And again, these are my filters. You can change them however you prefer. And I'm gonna narrow it down the share flow up to 75 million share flow. Of course, you can experiment with 25 million, uh, 50 million, whatever share flow you prefer. And then I'm gonna go to the importance, turn that right off, and we have our list here. 
Then you just go ahead and start adding those keywords and you are good to go. Out of respect for your time, I make these videos short and sweet, but if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out anytime. If you'd like to join our growing community of traders, then I'll leave the link in the description below.